difference. Our first step is to work out that common difference, i.e. how do we get from each of our terms? In this case, from 2 to 7, we add on 5. From 7 to 12, again, we add on 5. And from 12 to 17, again, we add on 5. We know it is a common difference. In this case, our common difference is positive 5. As we want to work out the nth term, it's always our common difference, in this case, positive 5, in front of letter n. Then we always work backwards, i.e. the opposite of add 5 is to subtract 5. And 2 subtract 5 gives us negative 3. Whatever we get here on the left, that's called our zero term, and that gets placed on the end. Hence, my final answer for two marks is my end term is 5n minus 3. To find the 20th term, we know the 20th term occurs when n equals number 20. Therefore, subtracting into our end term, we know 5 in algebra means 5 multiplied by n. Hence, we're going to have 5 multiplied by n, which in this case is 20. And we select the minus 3 that we must place at the end. Well, 5 times 20 gives us 100. And 100 subtract 3 gives us 97. So the 20th term of our sequence equals 97. Your turn.